Good morning, class of 2022. We made it. Whether it took you three years to get here or six years, and whether you're graduating with a 4.0 or you made C's get degrees your personal motto, you made it here today, and that is a huge accomplishment. Graduation is one of those rare turning points in life where you know it is a turning point. Behind us is our college experience, and ahead of us is the rest of our lives. I like to think of it like a diving board. And once you jump off a diving board, once you walk across this stage, things are going to change and they will never be the same again, and that is terrifying. But we cannot just stay here on this diving board. We have to take that plunge into whatever comes next. And you know, some of you may do a graceful swan dive with everything perfectly planned out. Some may do a cannonball and make a large splash in their future. Some may figure out what they want to do while they're in the air. But regardless of your style, you have to take that jump. And you know, there may be some parents here who are ready to give the, their graduates a shove if they aren't ready to jump. So as we are here at graduation on this diving board together about to take that leap, I would like to ask that you take a second to think about how you got here, specifically who helped you. While y'all are thinking about that, I would like to take this moment to thank the people who helped me get here. Specifically, my family, my best friend Sam, my boyfriend Adam, and all my mentors. You all kept me going, kept me sane when things got tough, and most importantly, you never let me give up, so thank you. Keeping with this idea that graduation is a time of change while also reflecting on the past four years, it seems one of the defining features of our college experience was change. We entered college pre-pandemic, which now seems like a completely different world. Undergraduate is a big enough challenge on its own, but combine that with the challenges of balancing the transition to online classes, with the stress of the pandemic and the uncertainty of the world's future, and it becomes a completely different ball game. And it would have been very easy to give up during all of that, but every single one of you is here today because you did not give up. When the world shut down, you kept learning, working hard, persevering, and that is incredible. And you know, today you're going to hear a lot of congratulations but at this moment, I want to tell you all that I am so incredibly proud of us. And I hope that you carry that dedication and perseverance forward into whatever comes next. When I was thinking of coming to Mercer and I was touring campus, I remember seeing the banners. Y'all know the ones I'm talking about, the ones that say at Mercer, everyone majors in changing the world. Um, I remember thinking I am not majoring in changing the world. I'm majoring in biomedical engineering. And honestly, I thought those banners were Mercer admissions propaganda, and I just, I didn't get it. Um, and then, at the end of my freshman year, I did a Mercer on mission trip to South Korea, led by Dr. Hyun, and we taught young North Korean refugees English, 3D modeling and printing, and robotics. And the students we were working with, you know, they missed out on a large part of their education because they were fleeing from North Korea. And we were able to help provide that education for them and truly impact their lives. And at the end of that trip, I was like, okay, I get it now. I understand these banners. Mercer on Mission, this huge, incredible thing that we did, that is changing the world. And I was really satisfied with that. But I only had half the definition at that point. It wasn't until I was volunteering at a Go Baby Go event um, that I began to get the full definition. And if you're unfamiliar, Go Baby Go is an event where we take those little mini, mini cars that kids can drive around, the ones um, you can buy at Walmart next to the bicycles, and we modify them so that a child with limited mobility can use them. And while I was at the event, my friends who were volunteering and I, we were talking with the parents, and we were interacting with the kids, and the parents were expressing how transformative these cars were for the kids and how it gave the kids independent mobility, some of them for the first time in their lives. And I began to realize that this was also changing the world. A change in the world does not have to be this huge thing that impacts tons of people. I mean, it certainly can, but a change in the world can be a change in just one person's world. 
So with that definition in mind, every single one of you here today is going to change the world for somebody else. Future healthcare professionals, you will make medical decisions every single day that will drastically impact people's lives. Engineers, you will create the next technology that will hopefully make all of our lives easier. Researchers, whether you are studying arthropods or diseases, you will change the world with the things you discover. Historians, you will change the world by reminding us of our past and documenting the present to prevent us from making the same mistakes in the future. Artists and musicians, you will change the world by making it a more beautiful place. Future attorneys, you will change the world by fighting for justice in our legal system. Now, there is a group I have not mentioned yet, and this group is underpaid, overworked, and does not get the recognition that they deserve. But this group is going to change the world more than anyone else. That group is teachers. Teachers, whether you are in elementary, middle, or high school, you are going to shape, create, and ensure our future through the young minds you educate. And I would not be where I am today without the teachers who believed in me before I believed in myself. And I'm sure every single graduate here today can think of a teacher who led to them being here. So now that I have thoroughly convinced each of you that everyone here is going to change someone else's world, I want to remind you that a change is not inherently good. You can change someone's world for the worse. And often the easiest path, or the path of least resistance, or the path with the most pay, more often results in a very negative change in someone else's world. So I urge each of you to be conscious of the impact of your choices on others. So class of 2022, yes, today you are receiving your degree in whatever you majored in, but you are also receiving a degree in changing the world. And I know not all of you are 21 year olds like me and you may have lived a lot more life than me. But no matter what your age or life experience, you will change the world. So I'd like to ask each of you today that whatever you do next, remember that you are impacting someone else's world and to do it with kindness. Thank you.